darkening stand the varying shores of the world. Oh, Antony, Antony, Ant... Huh? Her beloved is dying, you see? And so she calls upon the sun to burn the whole sphere, the world, in fact. Her feeling is, how can nothing in nature change when such an extraordinarily shattering... Listen to this a little later, she goes, shall I abide in this dull world which in thy absence is no better than a sty? Sty. I like that. And a bit later, she says, the crown of the earth doth melt, and there is nothing left remarkable beneath the visiting moon. Nothing, I know that. Mm. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> Eventually we all do. Hmm? You see, what this is all about is love. Hmm? Mad, passionate that crosses all boundaries. And that's why we still relate to it today. Oh. <laughs> who among us has not felt passion? Uh, now there are some who would say that um, love is outmoded, tired, um, uh, social construct, if you will. Hmm? <laughs> what do you girls think? Lauren. When my father left my mother for his girlfriend, he said it was love. But it was obvious to everyone that it was, well, sex. <laughs> I think love is sex. I think it's like projection, like a mirage in the desert. You see what you want to see in the person, you know? No, no, no. It's a chemical high induced by your body so that you want to make babies. <laughs> it's money. Liar. Liar, liar, liar. You've all got your heads up your assholes because love is. It just is and nothing you can say can make it go away because it is the point of why we are here. It is the highest point. And once you are up there looking down on everyone else, you're there forever. Because if you move, right, you'll fall. You'll fall. Yes, Polly. I think you may be right. 